Hello everyone! Welcome back after such a long time to Cooking with Awesome. Yes, we're going to make another video after so many years. What should we make today? Let's make triple chocolate muffins. Sounds good to me. I've got a headset. Check me out. And lots of chocolate, but I'm totally not going to eat that right now. Got a spice rack. Cool. And I can't tell the time, but that's not new. Anyway, first things first. I think Muffins are going to need to bake, so we should probably preheat the oven. I don't know, 200 degrees, maybe? Let's go with that. Yeah, why not? 200 degrees. Sounds good. Okay, that can heat up. What are we going to need? We are going to need muffin cases. Excellent. But first of all, what goes into muffins? We will need some eggs, some flour, some sugar, some cocoa powder, baking powder, cinnamon oil and various types of chocolate, maybe a bit of milk. Okay, so why don't we put some powders together? So flour, baking powder, cocoa, maybe some cinnamon. Okay, flour first. We will want 400 and, well, 400 grams should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a bowl and a sieve and into it I'm going to dump 400 grams of plain flour because trust me he's going to raise enough plain flour it is sift that through with the cocoa powder some baking powder I think we want two tablespoons of this sounds about right you can tell I'm making it up as you go along. That's what cooking is. Invention. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Cinnamon. Let's add some flavour to it. Let's go with two teaspoons. Again, making it up as we go along. No idea how many muffins I'm making. Aiming for 24. Nice number. Okay. I'm going to sieve all this in. Take a couple of seconds. Pretty good workout. Make sure there's no lumps left in the flour. Sew it all through. Lovely. What I've got now is a great big bowl of assorted powders. What am I going to do to it? I'm going to stir in the sugar nice bowl of sugar, golden caster sugar, 230 grams, and what else, what shall I do with it, let's go with some chocolate, chocolate muffins, chocolate chips, I like it, in they go. In they go. That can all get stirred together. Let's use the tablespoon. Let's make sure we're, instead of layering it all together, we mix all the powders together with the chocolate chips. What we're looking for here is a great big brown quarry, essentially. So I'm stirring this together. We're starting to see is a great big light brown lump with some darker brown chunks in it which is the chocolate chips okay put that to one side for the moment what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take another bowl and in it i'm going to put some oil i've got 200 milliliters of oil measured out sunflower oil and into it I am going to beat, well, I'm going to do four medium eggs. Obviously the important thing with eggs is to try not to drop them. So egg number one, crack it on the side of the bowl, pull it apart and it goes in. Try not to get any shell in, shell to one side, next egg. Side of the bowl, 
in it goes. You might get a bit mucky doing this, it's perfectly fine. Half the fun of cooking, really. And number three, gently does it, in it goes. Egg number four, also done gently. The harder you force the egg, the more likely you are of getting some of the shell in. So there's your shells, get rid of those, you don't really need them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk that together. So, strong arm. I'm going to whisk it until it's frothy. So what you're looking for here is a sort of creamy yellow consistency. Okay, looks kind of, well you can't really see it, but creamy and yellow. Into that I'm going to pour some milk. Looking for about 400 ml. So what I'll do is I'll measure out in my trusty scales 400 millilitres of milk. Perfect. That can go in. And the milk can be whisked into the existing mixture. Now we've got a really light creamy yellow substance going on here. Brilliant. Next, this is going to get stirred into all the powder, all the dry stuff. So I'll bring across the bowl of powder and chunks. Pour it in. Start it with a bit of stirring, whisk it a bit later once it's all started coming together. So this is all going to sort of blend together, it's going to start congealing, getting thicker. What we're going here for here is like a sort of, it's going to look like a light lumpy chocolate sauce essentially what it is. It's one great big cake batter. Except we're not making one great big cake here, we're making 24 small cakes. Muffins! Triple chocolate muffins. So far double chocolate. One chocolate is the chocolate chips, one chocolate is the cocoa powder. The third chocolate? Well, we'll find out later. We're not quite there yet. So as I'm stirring this together, it's coming on to the of a really thick chocolatey goop. Perfect. Keep that stirring for a bit. The next step with this is going to be three quarter filling all the cake, all of the muffin cases with this mixture. It will go in them. So, I'm pretty sure that's ready. What I've got are some muffin cases. Now what I'm going to do with these, and yes I did drop them on the floor but never mind, I'm going to spoon this mixture into them one by one until each one of them is three quarters full. I'll show you one in a moment. Okay, so three quarters full looks kind of like that one there. Now, I won't make you watch me do all of them. 
these are ready for the oven. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop them in for 20 minutes. The oven has been heated to 200 degrees. So they can go in. It's worth noting I've only put 12 in because my tray is only big enough for 12. So I'm going to be two, baking two lots of 12 to make my full 24. While they're in the oven, I've got some white chocolate here, broken to pieces, about 370 grams. Got some water on the boil. I'm putting this on top of it to melt. What this is going to do is go on top of the muffins when they come out of the oven. It's currently going to melt. All right, oven is ready. Oven gloves, safety first. These ones are silicon, so very good. Let's have a look. Oh hey, what do we think of those? Now, when they cool, we can put the chocolate on them. Okay, what I want to do now, now that they're out of the oven, I've got my chocolate, I've got a paintbrush with melted chocolate on it. I'm going to apply it to the top of the cakes. Just a light coating. Should look a little something like this. Just light and rough. If you wind up with a chocolate left over, it's your lucky day. You can lick the bowl. Or, you know, you could always make more muffins. That works too. In the old days, I had a friend who tried to melt chocolate without putting it on top of boiling water, and what he did was he caramelised it in the pan. Needless to say, that was a cooking video we never uploaded, and he doesn't like speaking of. I find it hilarious. All that's left to do now, while the chocolate is still hot, take a little sieve, take some of the cocoa powder. We're going to give the we're going to give them a light drizzle of powder over the top just to fleck all the chocolate. So a little bit of powder in. Bit of a shake over each one. Keeping it light. Alternatives, of course, you can use sprinkles or pretty much whatever takes your fancy. Put the excess back in. And here we have the finished article. I will point the camera down at them. Chocolate muffins. Double chocolate, so chocolate chip and chocolate cocoa with white chocolate topping flecked with cocoa powder. Job done. So the first lot So the first lot are out and calling, but I reckon these the guys are for the outtakes. They kind of overflowed a bit, so maybe I won't put those in the final video. Outtakes, put them tush.